Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCut Marketplace blog plugin. Now this particular plugin is easy to use and fairly handy to handle all of your marketplace stores blogs. Now this particular plugin enables the marketplace sellers to add posts or blogs about their products and can manage them as well under their own account panel. Apart from that, the marketplace admin can also add blogs regarding his products and can manage all blogs, comments and has the option of deleting the comments as well as uh, the marketplace vendors can also do that uh, particular thing as well. Now on the other hand on the customers and the customers can with the uh, blog at the storefront and can share the blog or the social networks and can also make ratings and reviews for the respective blogs as required. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of the OpenCut Marketplace blog plugin and I'll be showing you the workflow of the same at the storefront, how the customers can access the multiple blogs there and how they can share the blogs on the social networks, check the details of the the uh, the blogs there within the marketplace of both the uh, vendors as well as of the marketplace admin. But before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and uh, if you find this particular video helpful then do give it a thumbs up now the customers can access the marketplace blog uh, from the header link here as you can see the marketplace blog link is there so if i tap on that the complete listing of the marketplace blogs is visible to the customers as you can see right now with pagination as well now uh, here uh, you can see that we have the blog name, uh, its uh, publishing date, the author name, the number of reviews that have been made. For this you can see that one review has been made, the author name is Shane Smith. This is uh, a brief description there of uh, the blog itself. To read a particular blog you can tap on the read more button there and that would uh, take you to the particular blog itself and from there as well you can share the particular blog on the Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn as required. Here you'll find the content of uh, the uh, blog uh, and image there. Uh, apart from that you can also find the images uh, for the blog there here and you can tap on them to view a particular image uh, itself. Apart from that, uh, the edit or related products uh, for the blog are visible to the customers as you can see right now. And below that we have the review section wherein uh, the customers who are viewing the particular blog can view the reviews that have been made for a particular blog as well. Now to uh, make a review or uh, proceed further there, uh, you have to log into your uh, registered account. So uh, let's uh, tap here on the login button. So I'll be logging into my customer account there. And now if I go to the marketplace blogs, for example, let's go to the social work. I can tap here as well. Here's the content, some images. Now I can make a review uh, as a customer. That's the uh, Peter Doe because I've uh, logged in. So my name is automatically being displayed here. I can enter my review. Uh, it was nice rating this piece of blog and I can give the ratings as well for the same and I can tap here on the continue button thereafter and you can see that the com comment has been submitted for the review there by the uh, respective uh, vendor there now apart from that if I go back uh, to uh, the marketplace uh, blog section there here on the marketplace blog uh, listing as you can see we are on the blog listing uh, page right now here we also can search for the blogs uh, using the uh, blog name there we can find the categories that have been created by the marketplace vendors and the admin and we can find the content of uh, blogs within each category as well as you can see for webcool we have two for open cart we have one we can also see the recent posts here uh, the latest one is the social work the latest one is the social work uh, then we have the webcool as uh, gurukul you can see that as well so uh, that's how the customers can interact with the blog there and they can access uh, the images the content uh, uh, share the blog over the uh, social networks and can see the related products as well as reviews and can make the reviews for the blog uh, as well there as per their own requirement now let me take you to the vendors end and let me show you how the vendors would be able to uh, create uh, the uh, blogs there and what different options do they have under their own account panel 
so for that I'll be logging out of the custom account there and uh, I'll be logging in as a seller so I'll just log into the vendor account there so I've logged in now after the successful installation of this particular plugin the marketplace vendors will get the marketplace blog block wherein they have three different uh, sections one is the category to create the categories for the blogs uh, blogs to uh, create and manage the blogs reviews to uh, to manage and moderate the reviews there now going to the category there uh, the uh, vendors can add the particular category uh, into uh, this particular section here and to add a new category you just need to tap here on the add new button you can also edit any of the previously created blog categories there and you can set their status as enable or disabled as required or you can delete them as well by tapping the delete button there to add a new uh, marketplace blog category you'll have to tap on the add button and that will bring up this particular section wherein you have to set the name of the category so for example let's set it as a test category you, if you want or you wish you can set the parent category for your uh, new marketplace blog category as well as per your own requirement there you can set the sort order for the same set it as enabled or disabled this would uh, be the sort order at the storefront there for this uh, particular uh, category that we're going to create and then we can tap here on the save button to save a particular category then you can find that particular category here created enabled sort order is two if you want you can also edit it up now coming to the blog section here you'll be able to create and manage the blogs and while we are creating a particular blog uh, we'll be able to assign that blog into a particular category that we have just created and that category is visible as we have seen already at the storefront on the right hand side there so uh, to uh, add a new uh, blog what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the add button and uh, apart from that here you can see the complete list of uh, blogs that you have already created this is the social work that we were checking out the web cool as guru cool you can edit any of the blog if you want by tapping on the edit button and the particular uh, general data and image gallery section would appear wherein you can manage the images uh, there let's go back so to add a new blog uh, just tap here on the add new uh, button then you have to enter the general data and the image gallery section data there so here what you need to do is you need to enter the blog title so for example let's search it as blog creator example and let me uh, take a content for this blog after setting up the title I'll set the meta title let me set it as best blog you can set the meta tag uh, description here if you want you can also set up the meta tag keywords uh, or the blog tags as well as per your own requirement there then under the data you have to choose the category so here you can see that we had created the test category there you can choose that up we will set it as enabled set up the uh, SEO URL if you want you can add the related products for this uh, particular uh, uh, blog that you're going to create so these uh, related products would be shown on the blog page at the last there and after that you have to add the image uh, for your blog if you want you can add uh, multiple other images as well for example let's add a few other ones as well these are the same ones not a problem and thereafter we just tap here on the save button to save the particular blog so the blog has been saved and the blog has been created best uh, blog created example enabled posting date we can edit it up as well now to view it let's go to the marketplace blog and here's the latest uh, blog that uh, has been published as the best blog created example uh, here's the image that we had uploaded there uh, if I tap on the read more here we'll find the image the content here the uh, additional images that we had added and the other related products that we had added uh, there now if uh, a customer wants he can make a review and rating for this uh, product uh, uh, or what we see as the blog there so for example let's uh, set the review this is the best blog post read and I'll set the ratings and let's tap here on the continue button now the comment has been sent for the moderation now let's uh, go back uh, to my account and uh, to my account 
and uh, we went through the category the blog section now under the reviews we find the complete list of reviews that have been made for the different uh, uh, blogs there so here we have the best blog creator example our rating has been given as 4 the status is disabled right now so if we edit this up and here we can find the customer's uh, text review that he has made and the rating the date edit we can enable or disable this from this section or we can change the uh, date edit or the text on the blog uh, what we say as the uh, uh, blog uh, title there and then you can tap on the save button so we have enabled it up let's save it up and now let's go to marketplace blog and let's uh, read it up read this particular blog and here you can see this is the best blog POS uh, read and here are the four ratings that I had given there as a customer because now it has been enabled so it's visible on the blog itself now uh, you can see that uh, the recent post is showing the best blog creator example as well there so uh, yes that was much about the uh, windows end and uh, how the windows would be able to create the categories and uh, how they can create the blog and check the reviews and moderate the reviews there now let's hop on to the admin backend panel let's see what different uh, options are there for the admin so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username and password so after the successful installation of this uh, open Red marketplace blog the admin will find the marketplace blog option under that he has the category blog and reviews the same goes for the admin as well here the admin can go to the category and can create the category for his uh, blogs and can view the categories uh, created by the various marketplace vendors as well so here under the seller name you can see the, we have jennifer doe shane doe here we have the admin uh, category we have the seller category we have the admin category so to add a new category you just need to tap here on the add button in the same section uh, to create the category comes up to the admin as well just enter the name choose a parent category if you want so choose the store for which you want to enable this up set the sort order of the category and set the status as enabled and then tap on the save button to save your particular category and that would then get listed here now under the blog the admin can create his own uh, blogs as well by tapping here on the add new button and the rest of the uh, procedure goes same for the admin as well he'll have to set the blog title its content the meta tag title tag description tag keywords blog tags and uh, go to the data choose his particular category uh, for his uh, blog uh, set the status as enable disabled set the seo urls choose the store add the related products for the blog itself as required uh, then go to the image add the image for the blog header there and add additional images as well then tap on the save button to save the changes there and to create the blog apart from that the admin can view the blogs of the marketplace vendors as well and for example we have the best blog creator here and the admin can edit or moderate the blog as well of the marketplace vendors by making the changes there uh, in the data or the image and tapping on the saving button after that to save the uh, changes made by the admin for the marketplace vendor blog itself so uh, that was about the blog section and lastly the reviews here the admin will find the complete list of reviews for his uh, blogs and for the marketplace vendor blogs as well as you can see we have the example the rating to view a particular review the admin can tap on the edit button here under the actions column and that would bring up uh, the complete details of the review and the rating made by the customer and the admin can moderate these changes here and can change make the changes as required there and can set the save button thereafter for the reviews there so uh, that was much about the uh, open and marketplace uh, blog and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular plugin itself if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.hudes.com. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. Lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.